Where's that? Y'all gotta deal with that sun in my face, same as I am. Because they were running an extension cord in a rainstorm, or and I and I'm not belittling that. I'm just saying. I mean, uh, there's a difference between the storm killing you and some and you dying because you were doing something you shouldn't have been doing in the storm. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I can understand, but this is America. If you want to. I leave an area, you need to be able to drive out. If you don't have a vehicle, you get on the bus. Call a friend or something. It's not easy, but it's not impossible to bug out of a situation like that. The hurricane's coming in, and everybody know, oh, the hurricane's not coming. It's never the hurricane that gets the people or the stuff. It's the storms that come with it. There you go. This is the funniest looking dog ever. Oh. It's like Pyrenees bullpound something bent together. Hey, he's funny looking. Oh. Anyway. All this stuff. That they're showing on the news and everything, and 
then they, we got this, oh, we closed the solar observatory, blah, 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 we're closing these observatories, this, that, and everything else. There's no real news there, okay? They're not showing the devastation of these storms, the severity of the real storms. They're mocking up the ones here that people, man, it wasn't that bad, these people are making it, these people are making it. So it makes it look like all the storms that are being reported on are being faked. Okay, and then, uh, you know, they're not talking about the droughts and the rest of the parts of the world. I mean, they're not talking about the fact that there ain't no food getting grown. Nothing's getting to be harvested this year. They're not just not talking about it. Okay, that worries me some. What is it that's really going on that... The FBI would go in. The FBI could have closed that observatory down, done it real super quiet. Nobody would have been the wiser of it. They could, you know, there's, you know, that, that is designed to draw everybody's attention. That is, what are y'all, what is it, a false flag thing or whatever? Everybody's all focused on this stupid uh, observatory, which didn't do nothing but, but, but look at, uh, hey, like, watch sunspots and stuff like that. That's all it did. I mean, there's a whole lot of telescopes up there. It's not just the one that does the sunspots. But, and they might have saw something. They might not have. I don't know. We'll never know. But, what is really going on? What, like, uh, a couple of the things the UN's pushing through. You're not hearing about it on the news. But the UN and the feds are, are pushing all these little innocuous sounding things through that, you know, on the surface they sound like a good deal with them when you read it, and it, it's all designed to take away rights and privileges, and while opening the border, international borders, it's gonna close your local border. You're gonna be stuck in your county. You'll never leave your county again. You'll have to get permission to leave your county. You'll be dependent on the government for travel papers and stuff like that. That's, I mean, that, that, that's what I think they're trying to do this time. I mean, uh, Europe. They can stop you and ask you for your ID. Why can't we stop and ask people for their ID over here? Without having to have all these other folks. People, it's, it's everybody's like, oh, whenever SHTF happens, we're going to have to do this and that and that and this. And it's going to be horrible and we're going to have to end it because. I mean, just all of a sudden, the sky's going to fall out. There's going to be meteor hearse, and there's going to be starvation. It's all going to happen overnight. You just watch it. No, it's already here. The poop is being sprinkled on the fan day by day. We are in it. We are it. And they are spreading us all over the fan. And we're let because it's I mean because it's a slow boil thing. Uh, Pastor Joel did the deal on the the frog boil. Okay, they are slowly and steadily turning up the heat on the pot. We're going to be trapped and dead before we realize it's too late if we do not wake up now. Boy, this went south. But seriously, I mean, yeah. people, we are being played by the mainstream media, we are being played by the censorship, we are being played at every turn of the screw, okay? They are closing us in, the world, not just Americans, they're closing everybody in. 
maybe there is a big catastrophic event right around the corner that they know about and we don't know. It doesn't matter why they're doing it. Just that they are. And those that are, seriously, those of you that are in the cities, the big cities, anything over 50,000, y'all are the ones that are going to go. Why? Because you're going to run out of stuff before everybody else. And you're easy to catch. I mean, you're pretty much already inside the live trap. All you got to do is close the door. I mean, don't y'all watch science fiction movies? They don't ever hit rural America when they come in with the big spaceships and stuff. Skyline, they hit the cities. Yeah, it's, it's time. It's time, people. It's, it's already happening. I mean, they're running the poop through a grinder and sprinkling it on the fan every day. It's already happening. It, the slow burn has started. Time's up. Get ready. Stay alive. Don't die. It's the West S, man. I love you.